This is the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report. I'm John Keller. What do you picture when you think of the heavy artillery? Banks of big cannons, pulverizing distant enemy positions, taking out formations of opposing infantry caught in the open, decimating massed hostile tanks and armored vehicles before they can get close enough to friendly forces to do any damage. Now, when I think of artillery, what first comes to mind is the volcano of hundreds of Union guns massed wheel to wheel on Cemetery Ridge, decimating Pickett's charge at Gettysburg with shot and shell. So suffice it to say that the artillery, known as the king of battle, is about the application of massive brute force on a very large scale. Artillerymen even recognize a patron saint, St. Barbara, an early Christian martyr associated with lightning, fire, thunder, and other wrath of God manifestations. The last thing you think of for artillery, though, is precision strike or attacking high-value targets in cities and towns near schools or hospitals or anywhere else near civilian populations. Using artillery there would be a disaster. That is, until the M982 Excalibur round for 155 millimeter heavy artillery. Now, Raytheon miss missile systems in Tucson, Arizona earlier this month won a $172.6 million contract for a block of Excalibur precision engagement artillery shells. Precision engagement artillery? You gotta be kidding me. Well, Excalibur isn't just a big cannon shell. It's a satellite-guided smart munition that can destroy targets as far away as 25 miles with accuracy closer than 65 feet from any desired aim point. But, of course, it's got long range. What's got artillerymen excited is Excalibur's ability to fight close in to the enemy and hit him with a high explosive shell from directly above, much like a smart bomb dropped from a combat aircraft. Now here's how the Army might use it. Rather than elevating the muzzle of an artillery piece at a typical angle for long-range fire, they would fire Excalibur with a gun pointing almost straight up. Sounds dangerous, doesn't it? Today's heavy artillery can fire shells five miles high up there where commercial jetliners fly. Now they're going to come down eventually, and you don't want to be too close when they do. Now, after the artillery shoots Excalibur almost straight up in the air, the shell deploys fins that precisely control the round's flight. Then the shell's GPS guidance kicks in and directs the shell to its target, hitting from directly above. Precision guidance isn't Excalibur's only advantage. Certain versions even have sensors able to detect and attack moving targets. Some Excalibur shells can recognize and attack certain kinds of moving vehicles, leaving the others alone. It's got the Army fundamentally rethinking the role of its heavy guns. For the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report, I'm John Kelly.